Hello guys and welcome to this episode. Um, sorry about the last episode. If you watched it, uh, you'll know that the game crashed as I was fertilizing the field. And unfortunately, I had no save. Um, disposal. There we go. Um, I have had to catch back up. And in doing so, I have done a few things a little bit differently. I haven't chosen barley this time. I'm going to use the wheat that I've got stored because I am going to need hay for the cows. I've also got more cows. And as you can see, I have harvested the canola and started plowing the field, getting that ready for um, the next uh, crops. I did finish fertilizing the other field, but for some reason it's still at 97%. Which, if you watched uh, the last video, you'll know that's what I got to last time, and I couldn't finish it off for some reason. Couldn't quite get it to that. Uh, I am now going to sell this canola. Because it happens to be one of the best priced things about. Uh, uh, canola, 792 euros per ton. But instead of buying barley, I've actually bought pea, meaning that's 891 per ton. So that will be good because I'll. It's either going to be the field that I end up buying today that's going to end up that or one of my uh, fields that I've harvested already. That does however mean I am going to need a new crop. But I've also got to work out which field I should buy. These two are mine. Uh, that's the green and the hectares part. That one could be a good one. Uh, I'm thinking probably this 1.87, so it's the one on our right. Which, if I sell this and buy it, if I have money, I might be able to harvest the wheat as well. Which will be a bonus. So, I am going to try and do that. Because if I can harvest that, I can then sell that at the old mill for even more. Plus, I then get a load of hay bales and that's just more food for the cows. Also when it comes to the cows I actually bought the maximum amount now. So I have nine cows so they are producing plenty of manure but I will need obviously more food. What's that going? 1.93 hectares. Go on a bit closer. Is that hay or barley? So we get swapping. Mm. I am gonna have to on the side in a bit of a hurry. This may take the remaining of my canola because I've got probably about another two thousand left. Two thousand kilos this. So it's going to work out quite nicely if I can actually get the money to buy that new field. It's a bit of a pain that you can't go all the way around the back. Here we go, another shed. There goes the money. Four thousand. I had a look at a large field earlier while I was catching back up to uh, roughly where I was. Actually, I did go a little bit further than that with the uh, harvest in the field. Uh, 
believe it was like a two and a quarter hectare, like 2.25 hectare field I was looking at buying, and it was only something like six grand. And that was with um, the thingy um, social points, I think. I can't actually remember now. Right, I will see you back at the farm where I'll be loading back up and heading back here. Okay, we're back at the farm. Uh, I'm just going to show you my greenhouse quickly. Everything's coming alive! Um, also in the update, apart from changing the price of the cows from 1000 to um, 500, they increased the speed of uh, the growth in the greenhouses by 30%, so they should develop 30% quicker, meaning a bit less time. All right, I'll just load up quickly. I do actually want to check how much manure I've got, considering I do have quite a few cows in there. Because I do believe... Yeah... 2,400 on that, that's not too bad. Right, 220 kilos. Yeah, high cows. Yeah, it does take a while to um, milk them all. But thank God for time lapses. But you can still only get 10 fucking chickens. I want at least 20. That's where they actually, well, kind of done properly. Uh, um, on the way back here, I did check the price of that field, and after I sell this, I will have that. But that will involve me using some social points. The um, field worked out to be just over 9,000 euros, which is quite a lot, but with the social points, it halves it. So you're only looking at about 4,600 for this field. Oops, that's one we just did. So not too far away either. So that's nice and helpful. When it comes to the grain from that, I am going to sell a portion of it. But I am also going to keep quite a bit of it stored. Just further than up, shall we say, just in case it actually comes about that I need money then I've got something to kind of cushion me. Yeah, people are walking through. That's the one thing I've noticed in this game, when it is raining, people do not hang about. If you see them, they're generally running. And there doesn't seem to be any um, sort of like odd jobs about that you can go and do. Okay. Um. <coughs> okay. Uh, this is the field I want to buy. As you can see, it's got a load of wheat in it already, so that's a bonus. Here we go, we've got 5,900 from selling the rest of my canola. Lovely! I bought a new field! Yay! Oh god, more work. Um, actually, I'll best leave this trailer up here because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain in the house. Because I'm going to have to keep coming back to the silos to drop it off. It is nice and close. I'm going to have to move a piece of equipment over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well. Um, 
that first lot I sold, or that you saw me sell, wasn't the first lot, that was the second lot. So I had two and a half um, trailers, or grain trailers, out of just one field. So that actually worked out alright. Um, the thing that I call the apocalypse head, I actually found out what that does. And that um, the head is actually for maize. Until I don't know a lot about fucking farming. Yeah, everything else seems to be just the box standard combine harvester head. Yeah, just need to move my uh, equipment into place. Obviously, I'm going to need both trailers up here because there's going to be quite a few bales that we'll need to pick up after. Oh, and I'm seriously hungry. Let's have some milk and a couple of eggs. All I'd know is I'd hate to follow this guy into the bathroom. All he does is drink milks and now uh, eggs and milk. Consumes exactly. Doesn't have much of a varied diet yet. Um, will we need the. Um, uh, I actually do need that, actually. The hay baler thing. I think I'll put it in the shed. It's going to be interesting to find out how much I'm going to be able to make off, well, say off, out of greenhouse. Ah, oh, yeah, that day there is ugly. See when I'm uh, harvesting. Okay, I haven't got much left on this field to do. I've done the rest. I've just been basically going around in a circle. I should be able to do another sweep then dump this off into the trailer. getting a little hungry. I did have to um, stop during this and uh, go have a nap as it was um, because it did get late for my guy. Um, so it is a new day. I did milk my cows and uh, gather the chicken, uh, gather the eggs from the chickens. But this is a large field and it has provided quite well for us. So I think it was a good choice in buying this one. And just a little bit left. I'm just going to time lapse this last little bit. Thank you. 
Okay, that's that done. Um, as you can see, I um, did go about with the strimmer, and I got a bit carried away and did quite a bit of air as well. It does make it look a hell of a lot neater. I have missed a few patches here and there. And, um, I need to park this up out of the way, ideally. Um, yeah, that should do fine just there for the moment. Let's uh, trap it. There we go. So we got another thirty-six percent into the trailer, which isn't too bad. One and a half ton. Metric ton. So we've now got 27,000 kilos of uh, wheat. I said 27, didn't I? 17,000. I say the stripper does do what hell of a job. What hell of a job. Right, time for a bit of bailing. Which is going to take some time. It is now basically 10 to midday. At least we don't have to continuously stop with this to um, unload, thankfully. So there's a case to just cruise control this entire thing. Which um, I think time for another time lapse. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough of a time lapse. Um, oh, did I turn it off? Yes, I did. Um, 
this is probably going to end up taking me quite a while but this is going to be a part of my next video as well which because oh, because it's August we haven't got much longer left until it's winter so we really got to start thinking about getting all the fields ploughed cultivated fertilized and everything before winter which if we do that we should be pretty much sorted for the next year where we'll have uh, plenty to do as in harvest wise greenhouse should be producing all year round hopefully I've still got plenty of spare um, seeds or seedlings, whatever they are. And yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully.